Hey friends, welcome back. In this lecture, we're gonna understand the Tarjan's algorithm to find strongly connected components in a given graph. Tarjan's algorithm involves DFS traversal over the nodes and it identifies and records strongly connected component as they are encountered. To identify SC components, this algorithm includes few steps. Let's understand each one by one. First, we do TFS traversal on the graph. And while doing that, we maintain two values for each node. First, the DFS num. DFS num is the order in which the node is traversed or explored in the graph. Let's say we start from A, assign DFS num as zero, then go down, it has child node B, assign one to it. Now it has three child nodes, going to C first, assign two, then D, assign three to it. D doesn't have any children node, so we come to C. C doesn't have any other child node either. So we come back to B and go to next child node, let's say F, assign 4, then E, assign 5 to it. At last, we go to third child node of B, that is G, and assign 6. And it's done. So we keep an array which holds the number or vertex in the order it is traversed. Now with DFS num, we assign DFS low value to each node. DFS low value is the smallest DFS number vertex which can be reached from it. Like here, for vertex B, the DFS low value will be 0 because it's the node A which is reachable from node B and having the minimum DFS number. And for node for the vertex D, it will be 2 as C is the minimum DFS number vertex for D. Similarly, for E, it's 4 and for G, it's 0. So we also keep an array low in which we store the DFS low values for each node. Now you might guess from here that the nodes having the same low vertex value must be part of same strongly connected component, right? But that's not always the case. Sometimes we might get wrong DFS low value for the nodes. Let's say we start from D this time. Reach to C, assign 1 and stuck. No children nodes further. Then moving forward we go to B. DFS number would be 2 and low value will be 0 as that's the minimum DFS number vertex reachable from this node. Same for G. DFS low value will be 0 for G as well because the node D is reachable from node G. But these nodes won't make any strongly connected component because node B and G are not reachable from the node C. So what I want to explain is we can get wrong low values because it depends on where the DFS starts and the order in which nodes are visited. So DFS low values should be the minimum DFS number reachable vertex which is not the part of another strongly connected company. Now to ensure that the picked vertex is the part of that same SCC, we maintain an invariant to store the valid nodes which can be traversed. To do that, we take a stack and we push nodes into the stack as they are explored for the first time. And these nodes get popped each time a complete SCC is found. Let's understand the whole process with our example and see how it actually works. So we have the stack and we start exploring nodes with DFS traversal. While traversing, we assign DFS number for each node and a DFS low value equivalent to that DFS number. With that, we put the explored node in the stack. So A is in the stack, then we traverse B, DFS num and low value will be 1, 
then we have three outgoing edges so we go to c first and assign two then to d assigning three as gfs num and low values so now we just have node c to go but it is already visited in this case we update the dfs low value for this node as all of its neighbor nodes are visited so we look for the minimum dfs num vertex that is reachable and visited so we choose the minimum value among its current low value and dfs num value for node 2 which is 2 so we update 2 as dfs low value for the node 3 now coming back to c we check if it has any other outgoing edge no there is not so we update minimum low value but now the formula won't be the same as if you update dfs num of its child vertex then it gonna update 3. so we change the formula a bit and pick the minimum value among dfs for current vertex and the outgoing vertex that will be 2 and this formula will work for each vertex here we also need to check whether dfs num and low values are equal after visiting all neighboring vertices if they are equal it means we got back to the node where we started that means we got a strongly connected component so whenever we find those two value equal for any node we pop all the nodes above in the stack and these nodes will form a strongly connected component so cd is a sac here now we go back to b and check if it has any unvisited child so we go to f and assign dfs num and low values and push it into stack From F, we go to E and from E, we have only one outgoing edge, which is F, but it is already visited. So we update DFS low for E, which will be 4. Now getting back to F, we do the same and eventually realize that it is the first explored vertex in this SCC as it has the same value 4 for DFS num and low. So EF is another SCC in the given graph. Now there's one node left to explore from B. We traverse G and from G we can go to A. But A is already visited. So we update the min low value for G, which will be zero. For this DFS num is six which is not equal to zero so it's not the starting point of the SSC. we come back to b and update its min low value from current low value and from the dfs num value of the node which we came from so we update zero here and dfs low and num are not equal so we come back to a and repeat the same for a at last dfs num and dfs low are equal for this node so we pop out all nodes above a and this is another scc we got in the given graph this is how tarjan's algorithm works and helps us to find the strongly connected component in any graph what we do we do dfs traversal over the nodes with maintaining two arrays dfs num and dfs low for keeping track of the node from which the strongly connected component is getting started so we use stack and push nodes into it when any node get explored for the first time we keep updating the dfs low value for each node when we finish traversing all of its child nodes and whenever we come across a node that is having dfs num equals to the dfs low value we pop out all the nodes above in the stack and those nodes will form a strongly connected component so that was all about this algorithm i hope you got the concept